Yo, what's up, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Your boy Dread is back. And before I get into the topic of the video, I want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope everybody had a good St. Patrick's Day weekend. Enjoyed the parades, the food, and I hope nobody really got too drunk or got arrested this weekend. And if you go out and drink tonight, you know, have fun, be safe, and I hope you have a designated driver. Oh, yeah, and when you St. Patrick's Patty's Day green for good luck, of course. But anyway, sports topic today, I want to talk about all the moves that the NFL has been making with these off-season trades. NFL off-season trades. The NFL and all these commit, all, all the um, NFL commissions, all the um, NFL head offices, they are playing no games this off season. Everything must, everybody is cleaning house this off season. Everything must go. Everybody's eligible to be traded. I mean, yeah, it's funny how everybody and anybody's eligible to be traded, unless you um, like any everybody from um, quarterbacks to wide receivers to tight ends to hell to even the coaches and. Um, Defensive offensive coordinators. Basically, you can be replaced. Unless you got the franchise tag on you, unless you are a multi million dollar quarterback who's been producing great numbers, or unless you have some kind of pull, like, you know, you're eligible to be traded. You can be replaced. And the people who's the most eligible to be replaced are, um, let's see, um, 10 plus year veterans, the uh, NFL's, you know, players, they don't really take too kindly to people who've been playing for more than 10 years. Uh, people who are injury prone, people who have, um, who had trouble and you know locker room issues, <coughs> San Antonio Holmes. And last but not least, people who are demanding more money than what they're worth. You know, if you go to an NFL office or whatever, let's just say like if I play for the Steelers or whatever, and I say, okay, I want twenty seven million dollars for three years, and they're gonna look at me like, okay, can you put up twenty seven million dollars in three years numbers? Have you been playing to that caliber? If not, then you can get the hell out. We can find somebody else to replace you. And that's pretty much how it is. And the biggest thing with the all season trades is everybody is going everywhere. Even, you know, people who are eight, nine, ten plus year veterans. I mean, look at Andre Johnson. Andre Johnson got traded and Frank Gore. And and hell, like Frank Gore got traded for Reggie Bush. And he's a veteran now uh, running back. Like the league doesn't really take too kind to running backs who been playing for eight, nine years because the knees are bad, you know, they got wear and tear on them and you know. Running backs are probably the most, pretty much the most expendable position in the NFL. And um, Jimmy Graham, that was a big move. You know, the Seahawks got um, Jimmy Graham now. And um, also, Kerry Williams, who was a defensive back for the Eagles for the longest time. He's part of the Legion of Boom now. And um, they, uh, Ben Tate was uh, the backup for, um, he was the backup running back for um, the Pittsburgh Steelers. But we traded him for, but well, we released him for D'Angelo Williams, which to me was a lot better move. You know, we're going to see if the um, if the Cardinals, I mean, if the Cardinals, but we're going to see if the uh, Carolina Panthers can bounce back from something like that. And I thought that for sure, well, I knew, but like, I knew that um, the Cowboys are going to get rid of DeMarco Murray. And he went, I thought they were going to get rid of him for Adrian Peterson, who's still a free agent, mind you. I might make an update video for this, but for now, yeah, um, Adrian Peterson is still a free agent. And they got rid of, like, De DeMarco Murray, I guess he demanded release. He said he went to the Philadelphia Eagles. And also, that reminds me about LaShawn McCoy, too. He got released. But um, DeMarco Murray said it wasn't a money move. They didn't offer me more money. He said, I want to win championships, which is kind of odd to me because um, don't um, the Cowboys outnumber um, the, the amount of titles the Philadelphia Eagles have won? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. And this is coming from a non-Cowboys fan. I ain't even a Cowboys fan. The Eagles got, got um, less titles than the Cowboys do, despite them being in the exact same damn division. But, yeah, like there's been a ton of off-season moves made. And, um... I don't even want to talk about retirement yet because um, Brett Kiesel, he's retired. Um, well, they let him. He was released by the Steelers. Uh, Jason Worrells, he just decided, decided to retire age 27. He actually put up very good numbers and decided to retire at such a young age, kind of like Sean Mendenhall, too. And don't quote me on this, but um, they say that um, Troy Polamalu may be out, out the door pretty soon if they don't come up with a deal soon. Or if they don't work something out, but I'm pretty sure he will take a pay cut just to stay an extra year or two. But we'll never, we you know, we'll know soon. Like I said, I'll make an update video over this. But anyway, um, guys, that's pretty much all I want to talk about today. What is um, who you think um is gonna you know make the biggest off season moves? And like the draft is coming up pretty soon too, so I'm interested to see like you know what's gonna be better for other teams. Is is the draft gonna be better or is the off season trades gonna be better? Anyway, I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Peace.